Hello, and welcome back to the zoo. While we may have been closed for a while, our commitment to our staff and our animals and our guest, you, hasn't wavered. Safety is our top priority, so we've made some changes here at the zoo that are in line with the recommendations of our public health experts. And now, I'd like to turn it over to our amazing and dedicated staff to tell you about what you can expect at your next visit to the zoo. Hi, I'm Ashley, park manager. The zoo is still free to visit, but we're limiting the number of guests. This helps us ensure we don't totally fill up with animal fans and can maintain best practices for social distancing. Before you come to the zoo, you'll need an entry pass. There are two types of passes, free timed entry and paid parking. A free timed entry pass is for those who walk into the zoo. This could mean you took the metro, were dropped off, parked elsewhere, took a rideshare service, biked or walked here. If you have a free timed entry pass, you have the option to enter through the main gate on Connecticut Avenue or the Harvard Street gate. The other pass is for paid parking. If you plan to drive and park at the zoo, you'll need to purchase a $30 parking pass. With a parking pass, you don't need separate entry passes. Your parking pass will cover all people in your personal vehicle. Cars can only enter the zoo through the vehicular entrance on Connecticut Avenue. Whichever pass you choose, you must register online ahead of time. No passes will be available on site. You can learn more about reserving a pass on the zoo's website. If you're a friend to the National Zoo member, you'll also find information about membership benefits for parking. Once you arrive at the zoo, be prepared to wait in line and keep at least a zebra's distance between you and your fellow zoo-goers. You'll scan your ticket and a staff member will direct you inside the park where you'll notice some changes. Hi, I'm Amy with the communications team and we want you to enjoy the restorative effects of being outside, in nature, surrounded by animals. So we've made some changes to help keep you and your family safe, but we still need your help. You'll see signs reminding you about new safety measures during your visit. Face coverings are required for everyone six and older. For children two to five, face coverings are still recommended. Stay six feet apart from anyone outside your immediate group. And help keep the zoo clean. Wash your hands in the bathroom or sanitize your hands at any of the new hand sanitizing stations in the park. Finally, follow the new directional signs to help keep your herd moving. Our staff is on site cleaning door handles and other high touch surfaces regularly. On behalf of our animals, staff, and other guests, Thank you for following these important guidelines. Just check out the zoo's website for detailed information. Hi, I'm Craig Seffo, curator of Great Cats and the Kids Farm. Now that you're familiar with our safety measures, let's hoof it around the zoo and see what's new. Outdoor animal exhibits such as lions, tigers, the kids farm, elephants, cheetah conservation station, American Trail, and Asia Trail are open for viewing. And on hot summer days, you might even catch a tiger out for a swim. Some exhibit buildings are closed for safety reasons. We've also closed parts of the zoo where we can't maintain social distancing guidelines. But did I mention that the lions and tigers are always hungry for visitors? Speaking of hungry, several outdoor food and drink options can be found throughout the park. Elevation Burger is brand new. Picnic tables and outdoor seating are available. Looking for souvenirs? Several kiosks throughout the park will be open. Let me thank you in advance, because every dollar you spend inside the zoo goes to our incredible animals and conservation programs. Again, be sure to check the zoo's website before you visit. We're updating it daily to keep you informed about openings, closings, and safety measures. We look forward to welcoming you back, to have some fun, to reconnect with your friends and each other, and to see some of your favorite animals, and maybe some new ones too. Thank you so much for helping us keep people and animals safe and healthy. And as always, we hope that you're inspired to join us in our mission to save species here at the Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute.